Hi there, it's Thursday the 4th of June 2020 and for those of you who are members of our church, I wonder if you can guess where I am today. I am in church and here is what church might look like when we return from lockdown with our chairs set out at two metres social distancing. 32 chairs, some in pairs for families, and that's what it might look like. Bit strange, isn't it? Also, it's a bit strange not using a selfie stick because I left it at home, <laughs> so this may be a wee bit wobbly. But the church, like all the world just now, is, is in lockdown and is entering into well, in Scotland anyway, phase one of our restriction easing. We have been talking as leaders about what we are going to do, what might be possible as church returns, perhaps in the phase three. We'll just need to wait and see. But it's a strange time, isn't it? And these lockdown stories continue from the Bible as we're reading this week. And I want to read one right at the end of the book of Acts which is an account, obviously, of the early church and the way the church began on the day of Pentecost, how it grew. And, of course, Paul was one of the apostles. He was one of the main evangelists, the spreaders of the gospel, planted many churches across the Middle East and up into Asia and even into Europe. And at the end of his, or towards the end of his life, he was arrested uh, because of what he was doing and he was put under house arrest in Rome and that's the last chapter of the book of Acts and we don't read after that in the book of Acts anymore but Paul was there in Rome under house arrest. Here's what it says in chapter 28. When we got to Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with a soldier to guard him. Three days later, he called together the leaders of the Jews, and when they had assembled, Paul said to them, My brothers, although I have done nothing against our people or against the customs of our ancestors, I was arrested in Jerusalem and handed over to the Romans. They examined me and wanted to release me because I was not guilty of any crime deserving death. But when the Jews objected, I was compelled to appeal to Caesar not that I had any charge to bring against my own people. For this reason, I have asked to see you and talk with you. It is because of the hope of Israel that I am bound with this chain. And then towards the end of the chapter, it says this, Therefore, I want you to know that God's salvation has been sent to the Gentiles, and they will listen. And for two whole years, Paul stayed there in his own rented house, and welcomed all who came to see him. Boldly and without hindrance, he preached the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ. Even under house arrest, Paul was still proclaiming the gospel, the good news about Jesus dying on a cross, rising again, dying for our sins, the fact that we can trust in him and have our sins forgiven, have a relationship with God again, and have an assurance that when we die, we will go to be with him forever. And Paul continued to proclaim that. The Jews weren't listening to him very much at the time, so he started to preach to the Gentiles. And we are part of the Gentile nations in Scotland. Well, there are many Jewish people here. Most are Gentile people in that sense. And the gospel has come to us, and we have this great privilege of hearing the good news. It's something that we want to do. We want to share this good news with other people. And whatever we get the opportunity, that's what we want to do. We want to share the good news. We want to tell people that there is hope in this life. And the hope ultimately is not found in the government, as good as they are. It's not found in politicians as hard as they try. It's not found in any people, actually. It's not found in any institutions on earth. It's not found in good health or in uh, financial prosperity. Ultimately, it's found in Jesus Christ. He is the one who is the rock. He is the one we can depend upon. 
Paul depended upon Jesus throughout his life, even when he was beaten, when he was shipwrecked, when he was despised, when he was thrown out, he still believed in Jesus. And no matter what happens in this world, no matter what restrictions there are, the church will continue to spread the good news about Jesus because like Jesus, we love, we love people and we want people to know the good news. So be blessed and keep sharing and keep spreading this good news until we meet again. God bless you.